Ball on the floor. Rockamore and Bell battle. Possession arrow favoring Santa Clara. Yannick Atanga, number 44, on the floor now for Santa Clara. It's not just those two initial posts in Trasolini and Garrett. Atanga comes in, and Harrison off the bench is now the fourth big, but he started nearly all of last year, so great depth along that front line for Santa Clara. Dan Gonzaga got off to a sluggish start Thursday night against Pepperdine. What coach is happier right now with the start of their team, Keating or Few? I'd have to say both teams are pretty pretty with happy with where they're at. A couple of fouls have gone against Santa Clara earlier. Gonzaga hasn't been able to finish quite as well as they'd like, but overall, you're just trying to feel each other out this early in the game. Drasolini can't score. Harris with the block. Out of bounds, it'll be Gonzaga basketball. And that's where Foster's gotten better on the offensive end. Four and a half assists per game. He's not just a shooter. He looks for his teammates. He draws so much attention. He can often dump it down to his post players. He did right there. Very physical start to this game. Both teams going right at each other. Here's Harris. Baseline on a Tonga. Trasolini with the block. Up to Foster. Hart there defensively, and Foster scores. Foster's first bucket of the game. He's one of four. Just like that, easy buckets in transition. And Foster's so good with that handle, Dan. He can create space and get those shots in transition. Now the loose ball picked up by Foster. Back comes Santa Clara. <laughs> Offensive foul called on Foster. Bell there to take the charge. Kevin got a bit out of control. Our first time out. 15-51 to play first half. Santa Clara with an early 8-6 lead. Kevin Foster, 1-4 from the floor. That bucket there may get him going. We'll be right back. Northwest. And welcome back. Time now for tonight's keys to the game brought to you by Northern Quest Resort and Casino. Well, fellas, for GU, it starts with attacking inside. Olenek and Harris are top ten in the league in points, rebounds, and field goal percentage. How they go, GU goes in ball pressure. GU cannot allow Santa Clara to comfortably run their offense and find consistent quality shots. They make nearly nine threes a game, Dan. I think the keys for Santa Clara is do what they've done early in this game, and that's be aggressive. Put Gonzaga back on their heels, and they've done that so far. The other key for them is going to be to limit Gonzaga's bigs. Kelly Olenek, Elias Harris, Karnowski, Sam Dower shooting collectively as a group 60% on the year. They've got to drive that percentage down into the low 50s, even 40s, to have a great chance to win this game. Guys, who has more pressure on of the win here tonight, Santa Clara or Gonzaga? Oh, I think GU, anytime you go on the road, it tends to be the biggest game of the year. There's lots of pressure on you to perform. But for Santa Clara, there's a lot to prove. A lot of people are doubting how good they really are based on their schedule. This is a great chance for them to prove some people wrong. Harris inside. Trasolini thought he had the clean block. But he fouls Harris, and Harris going back to the free throw line for the second time this game. Got David Stockton, D. Landry, Eddie on the floor, along with Harris and Olenek for Gonzaga. And that's a position on the floor that you're going to see Gonzaga put Harris in as many times as they can throughout tonight, as well as the West Coast Conference. With his quickness, having opposing bigs guard him at the elbow is going to be really difficult. Brandon Clark, number three on the floor for Santa Clara, giving Rockamore the break. There's Elias Harris trying to tie the game. And does. Harris now with four points. And he leads all scores. Clark, a sophomore out of East Chicago, Indiana. Atanga playing inside for Santa Clara. Harris down there patrolling. 12 on the shot clock. Hardly a pass right now for Santa Clara in this offensive set. Clark in trouble. Here's Frasolini. Trying to get it to Foster in the corner who has to shoot it. Drives the baseline and scores. Well, that's about as good a defensive possession you could get if you're Gonzaga. But then, unfortunately, you don't pre-rotate help side defense. Give up a layup at the shot clock buzzer. Not a good finish to that possession. 
There's Olenek in deep. And he simply dropped it in on the reverse. And Stockton does all the work. What a feed. Defender turns his head, can't see the ball coming. Olenek does a nice job of stopping right, right underneath the rim. Excellent delivery on the pass. Olenek now with Forrest Clark fires the three and he buries it. He's 3 of 11 on the season and he connects easily here in his first minute of action. It doesn't score in a bunch. Got great quickness, looks to pass, but right there, very aggressive on the catch. Good ball movement for Gonzaga. Stockton buries the three. And David picking up where he left off the other night in Pepperdine. He had a great game against Pepperdine the other day. Nine points, four assists, four steals, I believe it was, picking up right where he left off. Here's Foster weaving his way. Step back, and then into Guy Landrietti. There you see a veteran at work for Santa Clara. He's just got such great handle. It's, on a, it's like a yo-yo. He can put it wherever he wants to put it. He's got good size, and he's not just a three-pointer. That's where he does the majority of his damage. But as his career's progressed, he's much more comfortable taking guys off the dribble. Foster at the line where he's an 80% free throw shooter, Dan, but doesn't take a lot of free throws, 41 of 51. No, if there's, if there's one piece to his game that could really help him is finding ways to get fouled, get himself to the free throw line. This last bucket you see right there, the layup, I guess if guys don't foul you at the, at, to put you to the line, just go ahead and put it in the bucket. But to be more of a complete player, he's got to do more of that. He does. Drive to the rim, right? He does. A lot of times, because he's such a good shooter, he'll rely on it. John MacArthur, number 25 on the floor for Kerry Keating. Junior out of Danville, California. Trasolini getting his first break. And Rockamore back on the floor as well for the Broncos. Sam Dower on the floor for Gonzaga. And there's a foul on Cowles. Cowles picks up his first, team's fifth. Gonzaga's really looking to get the ball inside to Kelly Olenek these last few possessions. The play a few possessions ago where David Stockton found him was off a cross screen. This time they looked to go high, low, couldn't quite get anything. Stockton sets up the offense. Bounce pass, Dower left hand, left it short. Rebounded by Brandon Clark at six feet tall. Rockamore trying to find some space. Got it to Clark, and then he's fouled by Stockton. His first, team second. Now you notice with the Broncos, anytime they catch it on the perimeter, if they don't have an early three-point look, they immediately put it on the ground, and they use so many ball screens, and they've got really good quickness with Clark, Rockamore, Foster's got some good quickness. They are a handful on that perimeter. And those ball screens, they force your bigs to work a lot away from the basket, which can open up some dribble penetration. Well, your bigs can go out defensively hedging, but your weak side defense has to be connected and shrink the floor. That's off a of bell out of bounds. Rockamore got caught in the air there. Both teams off to hot starts offensively. Santa Clara 5 of 10, Gonzaga 4 of 7. And number 35, Robert Garrett coming back in for Atanga. And since Garrett's been inserted in the starting lineup, Santa Clara 7 and 1. He gives him that size, 7 foot, 270 pounds. He's been a great addition to that starting lineup. There's Cowles from deep. Olenek the rebound. Santa Clara 3 of 6 from behind 3. And Olenek left alone. He'll shoot it. Hit it. I mean, you don't see that out of, out of too many 7 footers. That's a heck of a heck of a move right there. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I mean, I'll just bring it up myself. <laughs> well, he was a guard in high school. So you can see how he still has a lot of those guard type skills. Gonzaga back in the lead at 16-15. Here's Garrett inside, knocked away. Stockton saves it. Nice catch by Olenek. Stockton wasn't sure if he should let that go or not, so he gambled. Olenek, Dower, free throws. And that's really what makes GU unique, especially with Olenek and Harris, is they're not just comfortable around the rim. They can shoot it out to three, and they can both really put it on the floor. You see right here, no hesitation. He beats Garrett, draws MacArthur up, and all Garrett can do is foul Dower and send him to the free throw line. You just don't see that very often at this level. 
Two fouls now on Garrett. 16 fouls and Sam Dower at the free throw line and hits the front end. Sam Dower has struggled recently, but last year against uh, Santa Clara, he had a great game. 18.7 rebounds going seven freight from the field. Gonzaga hopes that seeing Santa Clara again could get him back on the right path. Don't you feel like Dowers do? He is due to go go off and explode in one of these games. He works too hard in practice and he's too talented. Me Harrison on the floor for Santa Clara number 31. And as Garrett goes out with those two personal fouls. And Kevin Foster back on the floor for Santa Clara as well. He's got the ball. Skip pass. And reset. There's Rockamore. Picked up the dribble. Gary Bell with the duty of guarding Kevin Foster tonight. And a carry call on Kevin Foster. Right. Good defensive possession for GU. And right now, Santa Clara stagnant offensively. Their third turnover of this first half, 11.45 to play.